I want to teach you how to play this great old early rare ballad called William Hall. I learned this song from George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky, and George told me that he learned it from a, an older guy in his area who everybody called Grand Hudson. His name was Orgus Hudson, but he was called Grandpa or Grand Hudson mostly. Uh, George learned a lot of his material from Grand Hudson, quite a bit of it, a lot of his sort of uh, the early ballads, some of the early ballads that he knows, and a lot of the kind of barrel house, uh, Tin Pan Alley blues numbers and stuff that, that I've learned from George. Come to find out, George learned it from Orgus Hudson, quite a bit of that stuff. So, Orgus is a real interesting character. Um, one note I'll make about him there is um, a cassette tape recording of him, several cassette tape recordings of him that are out there. I have one recording of him on cassette playing. Reuben, old Reuben, Train 45, but there are numerous recordings that George Gibson made of Hudson in the 1960s. So first things first, if you just want the tablature for this tune, I'll direct you to this link that's up in the top left corner of the screen right now. If you click on that link, it'll take you to our Patreon subscription service. That's patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. For a very low monthly contribution, you get the tab for this old ballad and every other old ballad that you've ever seen me play on here. <clears throat> so please do join us over there if you just want the tab. All right, for those of you who want to see the verbal rundown of this, um, my, my actual tuning is F C F A C. And that is, uh, I believe, two full frets down tuned from G D G B D. So you can tune your banjo to G D G B D and you can figure this out on your own. If you want to play on exactly with me, I'm in F C F A C. Okay, so uh the the picking of this tune is very simple. That's the good news. Picking it's real simple. It's just it's mostly open strings you know, a one arm banjo player could play half of this tune. The bad news is that the time signature is is not, it's not like a standard time signature. It's, you know, it's not a typical 4-4 four, four banjo time signature. It's not a waltz or anything. What it sounds like is it, it's a waltz tune that's been jammed into a 4-4 four, four banjo tune. So the time signature is a bit off. So that's going to be the tricky part for you. If you want to just play the tune, it's easy, but if you want to sing over the tune, that's tricky and so the way that I heard George sing it he just kind of he drags out real long and it's real irregular and stuff I tried to regulate it a little bit more but it's still tricky it winds up being different verse to verse you'll see when you when you start trying to put words to it um, anyhow but so first off the first way you start it off is on the open bass string you're gonna do a hammer on on the bass string at the second fret and that gives you when I, and then how do I get when I was? Play the third string open. When I was a, then you're gonna ride that, that third string open for a while. So when I was a fair and a tender boy in old Frisco, I did dwell. It was there I called. I was just kind of showing you how little 
left hand technique is required on this song. So I was dropping my hand and just show you that you could play most of this as coming from your right hand. So anyhow, you start off with the hammer on the bass, then you're going to go to the third string open, ride that for a bit, then you're going to go to the second string open, back to the third string open, back to the second string open, up to the first string open. Then you're going to do a pull off on that first string at the second fret, then back to the third string open, then back to the bass open. Then you're going to do your hammer on the bass again, third string open, then you're going to do a hammer on the first string again second string open and then I like to do a heavy choke on the third string at the second fret and then you're going to end on the open third string. to start slipping into that double shuffle technique. Um, when I heard George play this song, he double shuffled the hell out of it. I mean, he starts double, you know. When I was a and the boy in Fresco, That's basically it. Um, Again, check out the tab. Get the tab from us, and that'll make it real easy breakdown. Uh, like I said, the real challenge for this song is figuring out how the hell to to, um, to jam all those words over the over the melody. Sometimes you have very sparse words that you're dragging out wide over the melody, and sometimes you got to jam a whole bunch of verbiage into just a short couple of measures. But hey, that's that's the beauty of this stuff. Ain't no two songs alike, especially when you're watching me. It's all uh, it's all kinds of variation that I that I kind of seek out and try to do on this. Okay, that's enough yammering. I do appreciate you watching this. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Please share it with somebody. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Best of all, join us on the Patreon group. Thanks for looking, everybody.